Now, just as the world was recovering from the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, came the war in Ukraine, with the two countries accounting for a huge percentage of the world's supply of fuel and grain, it sent prices skyrocketing around the world. Africa has been particularly hit. Sierra Leone, for example, is struggling with a 24% inflation rate, while the price of fuel keeps soaring. This has occasioned very difficult times for many in the country. So what does the opposition make of it all? Between 2007 and 2018, Dr. Samura Kamara served as central bank governor, finance minister and foreign minister. He was also the then ruling APC party's presidential candidate and is the presumed standard bearer in next year's election. He's been talking to Umaru Fafana in Freetown. I don't think the present government was expecting this type of difficulties in the economy. But also it's because probably they never actually appreciated the start off point. Because if you start a government by blaming for your predecessors, you're confusing the general public, you're confusing the businesses. And once you confuse the business sector, because you don't have any alternatives to come up with, and you cannot prove your accusation, and once you confuse everybody, nobody will invest. But do you not appreciate the fact that shortly before they came to power in 2018, there had been austerity measures under your administration? No, I think the people misuse the concept of austerity. Austerity does not mean a country is falling apart. No. All it means is that you reach a certain point where you need to re-rationalize the balance between your expenditures and your revenues. If you reach a point where you have mounting expenditure obligations vis-a-vis a non-growing revenue base, automatically you need to, re- to, to rationalize your expenditure. It's just a wake-up call for you. But it also means that something right is not happening with the economy, doesn't it? Well, that's what I'm saying. Where your expenditure budget is much higher than your revenue stream. Mind you, we are coming from Ebola. When the economy grew up at about 20, 21% between 2012 and 2013, Automatically, Ebola came in 2014, and it ate up all uh, that growth. So we deteriorated again by the same margin. In terms of the current economic situation, I mean, the government argues that there are external circumstances, namely COVID and the situation in Ukraine. Do you not appreciate the fact that these are things that are beyond outside their control? I do. In national management, or even at home, you must always realize that there are two sets of factors. Those factors that are within your, your armpit, those that are within your control, domestic factors, and then those that are outside. So a good manager should be able to manage a situation accordingly. I do agree. During our own time, Ebola came, but we managed. COVID is not as lethal as Ebola was. So really, it's something that we could have managed. And above all, COVID had a lot of international assistance also. Some may disagree with you that Ebola was confined to only three countries, so the world could come and help. COVID affected each and every country on the face of the earth, so everybody minded their own business. Yes, but we still had a lot of international assistance from the international financial institutions. But what I'm saying is that the impact on the economy of COVID is not as lethal as Ebola was. What would you have done differently if you had won the elections in 2018 and you were faced now with this twin disaster of COVID and the impact of the Ukraine situation? Ebola had very good lessons for interventions. What Ebola did was um, to invite our attention to the best way to deliver for the people. Don't forget the safety nets program for those who actually suffered Ebola. So specifically, what would you have done to stem the tide of the economic challenges the country is currently faced with? <laughs> it's a starting point. I think why they, they, they missed it is the interface between the Kuruma regime and the Bureau regime. Again, I ask you as President Dr. Samura Kamara, what would you have done differently right now to, to deal with the current economic situation? You know, I mean, to reserve that when I become president. I want to reserve my opinion. How would you rate the BO government in terms of its economic performance over 10? I don't want to go into numbers.